Hey Universal fans and Halloween Horror Nights fans alike, I'm the Crazy Englishman and welcome back to another episode of Halloween Horror World. Today we're going to be discussing one of the most heavily requested IPs, one of the most heavily requested video game IPs of all time, and that's Dead Space. Dead Space is... It's a very difficult one I can see to put into an attraction, but if, if anyone's going to pull it off, Horror Nights can. And I can see this being very scary environment uh, maze, very immersive. So let's get right into it. Uh, for those who don't know, the story of you, of the first Dead Space, which I'm going to be focus on, focusing on primarily, uh, s simply because with the other two, I would see Horror Nights trying out the first one just to see how the general audience uh, would react to this kind of a maze uh, before moving on to any sequel mazes, which would kind of I would see combine two and three. So let's jump right into it. Uh, the story behind Dead Space 1 is uh, a USG, USG Ishimura, the primary ship in the game, is a planet cracker uh, that has uh, had a blackout and an engineering team is sent out to try to repair and find out what's wrong. The main character engineer, Isaac Clark, discovers that the crew is dead and everyone has been transformed into these aberrational forms uh, called necromorphs that basically corpse is resurrected by an alien signal by what's called the marker which is a giant alien relic so let's get right into it so sets sets I could see this being definitely a forte of Orlando Orlando has had experience doing ship based uh, or out of space type environments with interstellar terror now I believe it was 2008 uh, Orlando fans, feel free to correct me on this. Um, I know it was the Bloody Mary event. Uh, Interstellar Terror was a, uh, was a bit inspired by Dead Space, um, and with the crew going mad and killing each other, and uh, they're driven mad by this alien signal, by this relic. Uh, so very Dead Space-esque. So, but with Hollywood, it's very difficult to imagine trying uh, John and uh, Chris to pull this off. However, I don't doubt that they could possibly find a way to do this. Uh, I know Chris Williams has had, has surprised a lot of people with the stuff he can pull off. Uh, John wanted, uh, didn't know if they could do a tank for The Walking Dead, and yet Chris was able to make it happen. So I wouldn't put it past Chris to be able to pull off a Dead Space uh, designed uh, maze. But uh, set-wise, the USG Ishimura, where I would assume the, most of the attraction would take place, uh, the only other location it really does take place on is the planet for the final confrontation with the hive mind. Uh, but I, I don't see really that playing too big of a focus. I think the focus will be on the USG Ishimura uh, as a whole. Uh, there's a lot of corridors, very twisting corridors, which could work for some really good scares. Uh, the vents, which the Necromorphs use a lot, primarily by a, a form of the Necromorph called the Slasher, which is the most common form of Necromorph, where they're a bit, they look humanoid, uh, however their limbs have been contorted, so the arms would come over like this, um, with the bone kind of twisting into a blade-like edge, they're called Slashers. Uh, the Slashers, I could see being a very common Necromorph to fill out the maze environment. Uh, they use the vents, and there are two ways I could possibly see them u utilizing the whole vent scare. One of which, uh, obviously having someone placed there in the dark and coming out uh, to attack the environment, uh, slashing at the audience uh, with a strobe effect maybe. Uh, the other would be, um, I could see possibly doing a bungee form. Um, maybe uh, have someone up in the rafters area or uh, even down below and just kind of really quickly swing, uh, try to reach and then swing back. Uh, so it's for a quick scare back and forth. Um, this could uh, work really well with a multiple vent sequence where you could have vents on either side. You don't know which one has necromorphs in it. Uh, some are smashed, but you don't know. Some have necromorphs, some don't. So this could work for a very good scare. As I've said, the USG Ishimura has a lot of twisting corridors, which in the game creates a sense of dread, uh, being paranoid about what's around the next corner, 
And I think this could set up some great scares. Uh, there's a lot of rooms in the USG Ishimura that they could utilize. Uh, the engine room, of course, um, is a huge room. However, you could small by and make it look like the engine room. Uh, some panels and that that make it look like uh, they're working the engines of the ship. Uh, you could have them coming out of the floor grates uh, for some scares. Um, so there's that, and then the uh, uh, obviously the, um, the 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 bridge would be very difficult to utilize. It's one of the biggest rooms in the game, and they have giant um, looking uh, observation deck. It's almost like an observation deck. You can see out into space, and you can see the, uh, the planet below. So it would be very difficult to uh, kind of put that in a maze environment. Uh, so I don't think they could do that. However, I do see them doing maybe the, the uh, I believe it's Herbology. Um, uh, it's the, it's the uh, plant, uh, it's the, where they create plants to create the oxygen for the ship. Uh, so they could utilize those kind of areas, and some of the specific areas from the game. Uh, talking about the necromorph suits themselves, it would be very difficult to do some of the larger forms. However, uh, as I've said, the slasher forms could take up the most of the maze. Uh, they could easily be done with human um, scare actor performances uh, if they can do the thing they can do they can do dead space because dead space is primarily for, uh, based on the thing so it's nothing that horror nights has really not had experience with they've done the thing before and it's a great test bed to launch onto dead space so the slasher form i've kind of described uh, twisted forms with long blades uh, they could have puppet infector forms, which look like um, stingrays, but they have a giant probe that uh, stabs into the forehead of corpses, resurrect them to turn into necromorphs. They could have someone in all black with a black pitch black stick, uh, kind of use, kind of push them in front of the audience, make them jump. Definitely a good scare, I would see. Uh, kind of similar to in Hollywood for the thing maids, they had the centipede hand thing. Um, as a puppet, they could do something similar to that. Um, some of the larger forms, like the pregnants, uh, the pregnants are uh, giant bellied slashers um, that, when you shoot them, they burst and little creatures come out. I could see, I could see that being a puppet again, a larger puppet, kind of like how they did the hunter form uh, for Resident Evil. Um, Definitely someone I could see puppeteering it, and it has a little gas canister with like a split belly, and it shoots air at the audience, and I could see that being a good jumping scare. But one of the most, like, scariest versions of the Necromorphs in the game, and it, it scared me quite a bit, because you can't kill it, is called the Stalker. The Stalker forms are regenerators. Uh, so when, in the game, you have to dismember the uh, Necromorphs to kill them, uh, however, the regenerators keep coming after you because their limbs regrow, and so that could be a very scary enemy. It could be on par with uh, Nemesis in terms of the character. Um, however, you could have him, because it's a very dark-skinned uh, character, so you can disguise in the in the dark. It's a very big one, so you'd need uh, definitely some big scare actors to pull this off, but I, I think if they could, it would definitely be a scary, scary necromorph to see in the maze, as he can kind of disguise in with the black. So, all in all, do I think this maze is a possibility? I could see it being a possibility. Mike Aiello, as I've said, has shown interest in this franchise. Uh, definitely some good environments, definitely some good creatures. Uh, we don't see too many creature type mazes often. Um, more so in Orlando, uh, less so in Hollywood. We've seen a lot of humanoid characters, as I've said in my previous videos, but I could see this being a very possible maze. Uh, however, it all depends on um, audience reactions, uh, the need for this. Again, uh, with Dead Space 3 just ending uh, just recently, uh, it didn't do as well in terms of sales, um, so that could affect them doing a Dead Space maze. However, I could see it, why not? Why not do a Dead Space Maze? Great environments. However, I doubt they would do it if, for
for example, they were doing an alien attraction for this year, uh, which has more likelihood because it's the 35th anniversary of the first film and definitely a big celebration this year. Um, so I see Alien as more as a possibility. I don't see them kind of combining the two aspects because both of them obviously take place in outer space. Um, but Dead Space at a later date, I could see as a complete possibility. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, discussion into the possibility of having Dead Space at Horror Nights. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos for Halloween Horror World. And I hope to, get, hope to see you guys soon. Um, I will, in terms of news, I'm working on that uh, contest to have design your own icon, uh, backstory, and uh, character. Uh, so I will do a video completely on that describing uh, what the contest is going to be like. And I hope you guys uh, look forward to that. And until now, this is the Crazy Englishman, signing off.